Mind Mover is a very powerful tool. Um, as you can see, we have here uh, four directions, like um, from from the uh, enter from the right, enter from left, enter from top, enter from bottom, and we have the same options for exits, as well as we have plop in and plop out and animation settings. So first thing I'm gonna explain is the animation settings. If you open this, um, this is basically uh, the mind mover is a tool where you can uh, create your own type of animations um, and then save them and use them later and you can create your own uh, plop ins plop outs as well as you can create your own movements and interpolations and stuff like that and then use them in four different directions for incomings and outcomings from your scenes which is super useful if you are working on a um, bunch of explainer videos with the same animation types or uh, your animation is, uh, is has to be used like multiple times in one project or different projects, this could be a huge time saver. So let me show you how this works. First, let me create a new animation. For example, I would like to create a new um, incoming animation for one of these icons. So I, I, I just select, let's select this one. And what you always do is you create this animation from left to right. This is the direction. So from left to right, you create any kind of incoming or outcoming animation you can imagine. Um, for example, I will just create um, some very simple animation with overshoot here. So I just go like this. This will be my final position. And then I, what I can do is make some like overshoot here and go and copy it here something like this just very simple this is like nothing nothing really fancy um just make it okay so um maybe i just go a little bit more like this like this and this will be my this is my kind of type and animation I'm happy with. And this is just an example, Just um, it's, it's not looking good at all, but um, just to understand how this works. So this is my animation I would like to use later in my project. So I just select the keyframes of my animation and remember you have to do this from left to right. At, um, the best way is just start somewhere here and end up somewhere here where your basically camera edges are. So I selected my keyframe, I go here into animation settings and I would like to set up these as a move in and I will give a name of, uh, on it. So uh, move uh, or um, better will be overshoot, I don't know, type B, let's say overshoot B. So I hit OK and now it should be saved. If I delete this. You can, uh, you can see there's no animation, but I can go again in the settings. And now I will um, just go into move in and I will select my overshoot B, which is here. So I hit OK. And now I can basically use this animation of my own in different ways. So I can basically use it, for example, from the top. At this time I wanna, or at this time I wanna, my icon, in that way, I start to come from the top. So I hit this. As you can see, my icon came in the same exact way. So the animation is still relatively, and now it comes from the top. Um, I have here some more animations um, for, um, let's say, um, uh, move in, move out, and so on. So here, for example, for move out, I have a store only one is in. So I can use it, for example, now I came from the top and I will go at this time to down with this, with my ease in, and you can see it's there. That could be an example if my animation, let's say it's too slow, I can just go here into settings and my selected animation, I can change the magnitude so it will basically um, go much more further or less further or I can also change the duration. If I hit here override, my uh, it, now it will consider basically these parameters here. So if I do for example 10, um, 10 frames and go again, you can see it's much faster. The same for incomings, animations and so on. 
I can use the same principle for creating the plops and out plops, the things like that. And right now I have here already created some presets, plop in, plop out. Let's say I would like to use plop in as I, uh, as I created for this another icon, especially in this time. So I use this icon and you can see it's being plopped. And let's say here I would like to plop it out. So I just check what I have here and let's do it faster. 13, okay, and I go like this, and you can see it was plopped out. If this is still too slow for me, I can just delete it, and I can go into settings and say, okay, I would like to make it faster, maybe eight, and now I use this plop out, and now it goes away. So you get this idea how this works. Basically, you can create your own presets sort them um, and then use them in the four different directions as well as plop ins and plop out um, so this is uh, this is the way how this works and remember when you create um, incoming or exiting animation always um, animate from left to right that's the direction this program is locking on when he's storing the animation if you're creating some plopping in plopping out uh, you can create um, you can create any um, any plop in plop out. It, it's not direction dependable. You just use the scale. So um, for example, right now I can create a new plop in. Let's say I would like to have I start this size one and I go here and I make some something like this and I go here with the busier and I do something like this. Just do some busier kind of like pop in something like this. Okay, so I like how it looks. I select my keyframes. I go here into settings and I say pop in busier uh, plop in. Okay, I hit OK. Now I can delete this. And if I now go here, I can just. Um, in the plop in I have my bezier plop in I can use it anytime I want <clears throat> for example right now and you can see it's there it's a start uh, maybe you're asking yourself how can I delete if I'm not happy with my presets here how can I delete those so this has to be done manually you just have to go into your um, script folder where your script are stored and then you have to go to utility and you open the air anim data and you can see uh, those data are stored here so basically i have here for example move in so this is basically uh, my move in if i delete this it, it will not be there anymore if you delete this and save it you have to um, restart your moho in order to uh, don't see it uh, or or have it like refreshed basically so this is where you can um, when you can so in your moho pro folder um, scripts and then utility um, you can delete those uh, animations here in this folder so this is how it works